evening, junkies. Welcome to eminijunkie.com, your ES trading mentor's free trading video for Monday, September 19th, 2011. Today we had a total of eight executable trade signals for a max potential of 37 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, we opened up this morning. We had a very large gap to the downside. Our opening price was right around 1189.50, and we started immediately pushing to the downside. We came up through our moving average. We actually had a signal to get long. That first signal was a full stop out, T0 minus 14. After that stop out, we pushed down to the Globex low, bounced a little bit off of that, had a signal to get short. We were in a go with trade today, so that signal short did produce targets one and targets two for nine ticks to the downside. And the market continued to sell off quite a bit. We made it all the way down near uh, 1182 before coming back up through our moving average at the 10 o'clock reversal time frame. We did uh, come through that moving average. We had a an extension to the long side that produced targets one and targets two for 10 ticks. As we came back down through our moving average, we had another quick move to the downside that produced another extension, targets one and targets two for five ticks to the downside. Pushed down to 81.50 before bouncing, coming back up through the moving average. At that point, we had another low tick reading, and that uh, did produce a signal around 10.30 for targets one and targets two for 11 ticks. And the market uh, from that point on continued to push to the upside. There was a reset of our signal, another signal to the long side around uh, 10.56 or so. That produced targets one and targets two for 10 ticks. And the market continued to climb into the lunchtime dead zone. And you can see here the red area on our chart, that is what we call the dead zone. We do not initiate any new trades during that time. That's the period between 11.30 and 1.15. We kind of sit on our hands and just wait for the market to give us clean signals after the break. And when we came out of lunch at 1.15, the next signal was to the long side. It did produce uh, target one, but you can see we didn't get the follow through we were looking for. We ended up coming back down and, and stopping ourselves out for a T1 minus two. And as the market bounced, there was actually a fast move down right before the three o'clock quitting time that led us into an extension. That extension did produce targets one and targets two for eight ticks to the downside. So uh, a very fast day, a lot of extensions in there. We were looking short most of the day due to the um, high probability go with setup. But uh, during lunchtime, the market did reverse, push us up and kind of traded higher for the majority of the afternoon. So uh, we ended up not getting the follow through on the day like we were looking for. And uh, it kind of made us look uh at the market through a different lens today than what we normally would like to on a go with day. So all in all, not a bad day. Eight trades, 37 ES ticks. I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or just simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks and make it a great day.